the, the next slide, yeah. uh, possibly the one with the, the actual um, list of participants on. So um, what we're going to do now is have our reading for this morning, which as Louise has already mentioned, is from John's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 8. And in this reading, Mary, sister of Lazarus and Martha, anoints Jesus with a large amount of expensive perfume known as nard, and then wipes his feet with her hair. Judas is not impressed, but Jesus accepts her offering. We're going to present this reading in a dramatic form with the parts being read as follows. So if all the readers can make sure they are unmuted. So Lazarus will be read by David Reed. Martha will be read by Ellen Cook. Judas, no typecasting, will be read by Andrew Wren. Uh, the narrator is Marion Smales. And Jesus, again, no typecasting, will be Claire Haskell. So uh, if Lazarus can start us off. Hello, Jesus. Welcome back to our home here in Bethany. We are so pleased you could come to this dinner in your honour. Hello, Jesus. Dinner is ready, so can everyone please come to the table to eat? Please sit here, Jesus. Mary, what are you doing? That's an awful lot of nard you're pouring over Jesus. But it does smell wonderful. Huh. Smells like a waste of money to me. That could have been sold and all the money given to the poor. That's worth a year's wages. It should be noted that Judas was not known for giving money to the poor, even though he was the keeper of the money bag for the disciples. Indeed, he was rather better at taking money out for himself and not telling anyone else about it which I think is called stealing. Oh, let her be. This perfume was to be saved for when I was buried. You'll always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. Thank you so much. I have to say, that was brilliant. And thank you so much to everybody who's partaking in the service today. It's been great to have lots of people really helping out and leading. So thank you all for all you've done today. Um, so as the ad reminds us, this was not any old perfume that Mary poured over Jesus, finally wiping his feet with his hair, which of course for some people was just plainly embarrassing. My parents a long time ago and several, on several occasions used to say, well, Louise, that's not something a young lady will do. Sorry, I failed them, but there you go. It was outrageous and costly and surely not sensible. But was it worship or waste? Perhaps some of you have given or made generous gifts. Simply say thank you to someone today. Mary had experienced her brother Lazarus dying and Jesus bringing him back to life. How do you begin to say thank you for that? In hospital, when patients feel the hospital staff have saved their life, they often turn up with a box of celebrations, sometimes looking a bit sheepish, because how can you begin to say thank you when you're so much better and they've made a difference? There was most likely a feeling of danger around the group. The religious leaders, of course, were unnerved by Jesus and his death was just days away. And Mary, may in a way, be anointing his body for burial, Mary, perhaps, who sat at Jesus' feet, picked up that they would not have Jesus for much longer. However, be like Jesus, Judas may consider that the best way to worship Jesus is to give money to the poor. And we've just had a poll on that and realised some great things to do there. How do you choose from to micro grants to Bangladesh how do you begin to think what's the best way to spend money yet as readers of course with the benefit of hindsight we know that Judas was not being honest in the way he kept his money and perhaps we may reel at the mountains of waste that's poured into landfill when so many starve yet we know it's far from simple and we have to ask ourselves how much 
we waste in the way we live our lives. Perhaps we can learn, and perhaps this should be our daily prayer, that there are times in our life when we simply need to lay down our treasures and pour out our lives, our gifts, in generation, generosity for the love of Jesus our Lord. So there's lots to ponder on, but this is a time when you're going to go into your groups to worship, to be thinking more, or to be by yourself for 20 minutes. And I think, Andy, have we got the list just to put up again, just to remind everybody? Thank you, Andy. So just a reminder, now is the time to put that A, B, C or D up, or to put it on a piece of paper. If you want to go to the Bible study or learn, as a Peze chant, which is all about being thankful with Louisa. If you want to go and be creative or to watch Fran create a reed diffuser that you might like to make later, or do you want to go into plant potting with Gillian? Hello, I just thought that I would give you a quick demonstration on how to make a nice container for Mother's Day for cheering up somebody or just cheering up yourself, whichever. And it's just fairly easy to do and I thought I'll do a little demo. So I thought we'd just do a quick spring collection. You can pick up these really bonny little primulas at this time of year from the supermarkets. Supermarkets do really nice little plants. So I've got a nice little uh, cerise one and a lovely little lemon one. And I thought I'd add to it, for a bit of a change, some um, thyme, which is nice and you can cook with it afterwards. The other thing is, you see, you can plant all of these out once you've enjoyed your container and the, the flowers have gone over. So it's a really good value thing. It smells lovely. It makes me feel hungry. So what you need is a couple of containers. Well, one container, but I just thought I'd use this one. But you could equally use this one. This one's a bit deeper, so that might be better. Just a bit more room in there. And you just want some crocs in the bottom. Any old bits of terracotta just to help with the drainage. So I'm going to just pop some compost about two thirds of the way up into there. Just a general multi-purpose compost because once these have gone over you can plant them out in the garden so they don't need to be kept in there forever it doesn't need to be a long-term John Innes mixture just a nice general multi-purpose so I want to fill that up in here so this is my potting shed aka the garage in fact but still it serves me, no problem. So I'll fill that up to about there. Once you've watered it, it will settle. So just give it a push down and maybe another scoop full. There, that should do it. So it's about that much in there. Get the little primulas. They should come out easily enough. If they're very dry when you buy them, just give them a bit of a soaking overnight. Then just give the pot a little squeeze and that will help the roots disengage from the pot. So that's nicely rooted. Just give them a little tease out like that. And then pop him in wherever you want him. Pop this little one in, give him a squeeze. As I say, I just picked these up from the supermarket. That's such a pretty colour. The very fact you've got these lovely spring colours is very cheering in itself. And then I chose thyme, but you can easily get something like ivy. That would look quite nice, draped over the side. And the good thing about ivy is what you can do when you get it in its pot when you take it out of its pot, you can actually separate it out really easily and, and make lots of different um, strands. The other thing you can do with ivy is if you uh, just get some, 
that you pluck and cut from the hedge uh, in your garden, you can root that in the um, in, a, in a vase of water and it'll root and then you've got ivy. You could do the same with mint or anything like that. Because although this is a jolly spring container, you could make a nice herb container which would be really lovely and have it outside the back door. Now if you think that's too big, you can always just tease it apart and separate it into two. So that's what I might do. I'm just teasing that apart. You can't do this with all plants, but some of them will be very obliging and allow it. As long as each part's got roots, that's good. Smells lovely. <clears throat> We're just developing a lovely herb bed at church. So I'm expecting you to get lots of fresh herbs in with your roast chicken in the future. One part, pop him there, move this bit round, and pop the other part there. And there we are. So all that remains to do now is to fill in the gaps with some more compost that you've got down the side of the container. This is why it's a good idea to have a, a potting table because you do inevitably have compost everywhere. <clears throat> Push it well down because like I say when you water it you will get some settling. A bit more. <clears throat> ah, that's good. So, got a nice spring container there. Oh, it's very pretty, doesn't it? We can just go outside the front door. And uh, remember, anything that you've done for somebody else is going to be always well received because it's the thought that goes into it as a gift. Now, what you can do if you want to is top dress this with some grit. Ordinary uh, Alpine grit like that. Not that you can see an awful lot of the uh, grit because your plants are there, but it does make a nice, I don't know if you can see that, it does make a nice finish to your pot. And also stops Mr. Blackbird grubbing around in there and digging things up as is their want at this time of year. So, I'll just pop some more grit on there. If you haven't got any grit, don't worry about it. Your plants are more than capable of being happy without it. So we just need to, there, give that a bit of a brush down. And now we have it little um, Mother's Day gift or treat yourself. Just give it a good water, pop it somewhere nice. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. This is a just bringing together of all the things we thought about, thinking about how God just longs us to give with generosity all that we can give, those giftings, those flowers, those being us, that extravagance of who he's created us to be. There's an old prayer by Cardinal Newman that reminds us that we're all a link in a chain and we can 
all make a difference, whatever age we are, with people we know and in the wider world. And we can be angels of peace and we can follow Jesus together and do his work as a community. So a paper clip, just take one paper clip if you've got one. Just hold that paper clip and just allow yourself to look at this and to just allow God to say to you that he's pleased with you, that he blesses you. And to say to God, thank you that I am wonderfully and fearfully made. We give thanks, God, for the life that you breathe into us every day and allow us to follow you and be your agents of peace. And then take another paper clip and if you link those together, And that paper clip represents someone who cared for you as a child. Someone who loved you so that you could grow as you are now. It may be a parent or carer or a teacher who made a difference to you as a child or is making a difference to you as a child now. Remembering the teachers this week and the children have gone back. And take another paper clip and just hold it before you link it. To just represent your friends. Perhaps bring one person into mind who you want to pray for today. Perhaps one person who needs to know that Jesus loves them, that they're special. And then when you're ready, just link that into your chain. Then take another paper clip and bring to God on this Mothering Sunday your mother church. That may be a church that you grew up in, it may be the church you worship in now. Perhaps somewhere a long way away that you've left but was a place that you grew in faith and just bring to God that place, those people, that community, followers of Jesus. And when you're ready, think that to your chain. And take another paper clip to remember someone you come into contact with each week, someone you could encourage that may be at work or at school or even a delivery van driver or a postman. Just see that face, those faces and pray for them. Give God thanks for them and see how you could encourage them this week. Then simply take the final paper clip and just bring to mind someone or somewhere in the world that just is planted there this morning by the Holy Spirit. Thank God for that person or that country and just pray for those people somehow through your prayer or through gifting you may generously offer all that you are to God who links us together in that place and so we've ended up with a paper chain and you might like to put that near somewhere you pray during the week to remind you of that of course this is you can see this paper clip. <laughs> this re represents our generous and extravagant God that we are linked to to do his work. You don't have to have one of these, by the way. <laughs> so we say thank you that you call us, Lord, to 
follow you, to be a link in the chain. Thank you today that we've been reminded of that generous and self-sacrificing God who loves us. Help us in the week ahead to be bringers of hope, of resurrection, and to pour out our love for those that we meet, for those links we meet during this week. And may your kingdom come and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. you to uh, the two of you who uh, led us so wonderfully and thanks to everyone again who's helped us with the service and particularly to Andy I know how he must be feeling having had the, the jab on Monday I know how I was feeling on Tuesday morning um, please do feedback with any comments and thoughts and if you feel you'd like someone to pray with you or you want to talk one-to-one -one, let us know through the chat button and we will organize this for you but now we're going to join together in our closing responses and blessing. I will speak the words in yellow. Please join in and respond with the words in blue. Shield us, God, with your crook and your staff. Bring us safely home. Guide us, God, with your truth and your goodness. Bring, Bring us safely home. home. Encourage us, God, with your oil and your kindness. Bring us safely home. Shepherd us, God. Walk with us always. Bring us safely home. And we'll join in the, the blessing of St Hilda as we speak it over each other. Have peace with each other as children of one mother. Let each defer to other and may your hearts be one. Have peace with all around you. Sweet love of earth surround you, and may no harm confront you, or break the peace within. Have peace with God your maker, in Jesus be partaker, and spirit consecrator, 
God three in one grant peace. The peace of God possess you, the love of God caress you, the grace of heaven bless you, peace everlasting. Amen. Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give.